decide like you did, Hubert. It was a wonderful one, and it wasn't your fault that they didn't make it. It's, you did a you you did the greatest job anybody's ever done. Yeah, I'm sorry, I let you down a little. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's a lot of other folks, but not you. Uh, well, I is, our, like is, our, is, our, is our own people in the party that create all the problems, all the conditions, and yeah. stirred up all the divisiveness, and now they're blaming everybody else. Yeah. But um, uh, you came out of it in mighty good shape, and I just wish it could have been a few hundred more. That's right. Well, uh, we could have done just a little better, but uh, we're not going to cry. Nothing you can do about it. We'll be back there. I'm going to take a few days off. And uh, maybe go down to Cleo Bay. You tell Lady Bird I'm going down to her favorite haunt now. Well, she, I'm trying to locate her. Just let her tell you how much we all love you. We've got the been tears. We sent you a wire at uh, well, Waverly. And, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think I'll just read it to you. You may not get it. You've fought well and hard. You've carried your conviction to the standard of our party with eloquence and magnificent courage in 20 years of national service. You had no finer hours than those of the past few weeks in which you awakened the support and the interest of millions of our people. As a fellow public servant uh, uh, and as a Democrat for a friend of two decades, I'm proud of the brave, enlightened, and vigorous campaign you waged. Come here, Burke. I know that you'll continue to serve America and the cause of freedom for as long as you live. My deep admiration and affection to you, and Muriel. Thank you, sir. Here's Burke. You were just great. I was so proud of you. And there wasn't a soul in this house but, but what was standing around and looking first happy and then droopy and, well, yeah, you, you, were, you were just magnificent. And, and so was Muriel. Well, and my, Muriel's right here. I know she likes to say we're here. I just thank you so much. And it, much anything that we can, uh, we can, what we've got, we want to share with you. And we're just so proud of you. Nixon's coming on. I better let you go. Let me just say, have Muriel say hello to you. All right. Bird? Yes, dear. Hi, dear. You emerge as the star of this. Well, bless your heart. Uh... Even if it is on very slightly, slightly the little end. <laughs> well, it was really a terrific experience with uh, our whole family and all of and I think you have a place in the hearts of the people that are just, just will always be remembered. Both of you do. And Hubert's last statement was just so eloquent and gallant, and just I, I just loved it. That's wonderful. Um, gosh, I just wish we could have carried the people. <laughs> and, and tell all, I bet, if, you, if you're going away, I think you might tell all the fish hello for me. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do, dear. Okay. We're going to leave by Friday. That'll be wonderful. You'll be up in Washington? By, by tomorrow, I think. Well, maybe you know, uh, bowl a little tomorrow night or something. Goody, goody. When you get back? I'd, I'd love it. I'd love it. Call uh, me as soon as you get back. When we get back, I'll give you a call. Just one, one second. Yeah. We love you, and you are wonderful, and whatever we got, we'll divide it 50-50 with you. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Goodbye. It was a great experience. God bless you, darling. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye.